uh, there is and uh, no for fuel cell, very little for fuel cell. It's also a big mistake because uh, uh, if you don't continue to support the research, all the, advan all the advantages made on the area are going to be unuseful. <coughs> but this is life. Okay, here you have another important thing which let you to understand how complicated is the system. Because uh, <coughs> if you see what will happen maybe at the, at the negative, negative electrode, maybe where you have uh, the reductions of hydrogen through the catalyst. We know that the reaction is much more complicated. But here, <coughs> this happens in an area where you have a carbon plus the catalyst uh, and this is solid, okay? Then you have hydrogen coming through and this is of course a gas and then you have protons here that they have to go away and this is a uh, Okay, let's call it a liquid in a tie. A rea in reality, it's a membrane, but we can say it's another phase. Okay? So you see, here we have three phases. And you must be assured that the, all the three phases are in, in contact the law, uh, among them because you also have electrons there. Okay, this fourth, if you want a fourth phase. <coughs> And you see, to do that, you see that you have here, for instance, in this case, in this um, drawing here, what do you see? Something wrong? Oh, I understand this very well. It's a microsoft power, right? No? No, I think it's in Japanese. Okay, thank you. Ah, yes, it came... Uh, I'm sorry, yes, you went on, t on the, thank you, yes. <coughs> you see here, this red dot here represents the catalyst, maybe platinum. The black one is the carbon, and the yellow one is the polymer electrolyte membrane. So to, to assure that there's a good contact between these three phases, you have to mix all together. So what you're doing practically, you, you, you have uh, one as uh, the membrane and into the membrane you have to dissolve a, the catalyst and also the carbon. So it's all mixed together and this mixing together is called uh, membrane electrode assembly. Okay. So, for instance, you can take nathion in the liquid state, dissolve in a solvent, like you do for your, for your <coughs> electrodes, lithium batteries. This is a liquid, so you, you disperse into the liquid platinum and uh, the carbon, so you have a slurry, and then you evaporate off the... <coughs> the solvent, and you can have this MEA. Or you have other, other <coughs> way of doing it, but the main thing is to have all this mixed together, like indicated here, you see the yellow is the membrane, <coughs> and, uh, and then uh, this is the catalyst. Maybe it's better here, because uh, you have, uh, <coughs> you see the membrane is interpenetrating the carbon and the catalyst. So here, really, there is a, a, a continuous contact between this part and the membrane, okay? And of course, you have to allow the gas, this is oxygen side, you have to allow the oxygen to arrive here. Remember, the oxygen is, um, is uh, <coughs> a gas, so here you must have a, an, an electrode or something which allow the gas to go through. So this is usually a porous material, and it's called gas diffusion layer. Gas diffusion layer. Okay. 
And also you have to, you have to allow some electrons to go out. <coughs> so this gas diffusion layer must be conducting by electrons. <coughs> so the assembly of a fuel cell will see first this gas diffusion layer, then this assembly of uh, <coughs> this thing together of, uh, of carbon, catalyst, and the, <coughs> the polymer membrane, and then the membrane. Remember that this is going to be about 25 microns, very, very, <coughs> very small. And then from the other side, you have just the opposite. So, and together, you have the cell. Okay? And see, in this case, oxygen comes here, electrons come here, and uh, protons can go through the membrane. So you see the protons, if in this, consider, in this structure, proton can go through here. Right? Suppose that instead of having this membrane interpenetrated with carbon, proton could not leave. Suppose that here, instead of having the membrane, you have just a, another chunk of carbon, so the proton can, cannot go through. So it's very important to have a situation where you allow the transport of all the three phase. So, protons are allowed because there are this membrane here. Okay, you understand? And elect oxygen can come here because it's the diffusion layer, and electrons can go away because they can pass from here to here and here. So electrons are conducted by carbon. Protons are conducted by the, the membrane. Oxygen are coming through the gas diffusion layer, <coughs> and this allows the operation. And then eventually water can be eliminated from here. So this MEA is very, very important. And if you don't prepare this MEA in, in the right way, the fuel cell is not working. OK, now you can see how we can make this in more detail. You see, the first uh, we prepare maybe the, the catalyst. This here, black, is the carbon support, 40 nanometers. And uh, as you say, as I say, you need a very large surface area. So you have to go into nanostructure, 40 nanometers. These are the platinum particles, maybe even smaller than 10 nanometers, if we respect this drawing, it's about uh, maybe 4 nanometers. <coughs> then it's important to have uh, <coughs> these particles embedded into the, into the membrane, this gray one. Uh, excuse me, no, here is the member, the green one, see, in contact between them. This is the gas diffusion layer, is this, is this gray one. So the gas c can go through here, uh, using the catalyst to, be, to have the hydrochemical reaction, and the protons can go through here. Uh, and uh, <coughs> this is, again, this uh, indication of... Uh, the three-phase zone contact, which is absolutely necessary for allowing the reaction to go. And this is the catalyst. Again, this is the, which, uh, which uh, <coughs> drives the hydrochemical reaction and produce protons that can go right away to the membrane because they have a contact to the membrane. Then you have uh, gas diffusion layers that allow oxygen to come. And then you have carbon, which allow electrons to go away. This is very important. Here, for instance, you see how to prepare a MEA. I just, uh, there are many ways. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, one I told you before is by casting. Another one by electrolysis. So you can have a... Something like this. You see, this is the gas diffusion layer. Now you have a very nice uh, idea of how this gas diffusion layer works. It's a very porous material. These are maybe carbon fibers. Okay? And uh, here you have uh, the carbon to begin, right? 
So at the beginning here you have the gas diffusion layer and carbon, not platinum yet. Okay? And uh, since the gas diffusion layer is uh, formed by carbon, it's conducting, so it's an electrode. So you have this electrode and this you have a platinum counter electrode and in solution chloroplatinic acid. Okay? So in solution by chloroplatinic acid you have platinum ions. Right? So by applying a voltage here, now you can deposit platinum. And uh, which is this one. And uh, by monitoring the current, you can monitor the amount of platinum which is deposited. So in this way, you can uh, deposit very little platinum and disperse it. So this is the way of producing a MEA by electrolysis and uh, <coughs> controlling the platinum load. But you can do the same thing with different way, one, ways. One is the, the, the casting procedure that I showed you before. Or you can, uh, instead of casting, you can form a slurry with a solvent, carbon, and platinum, and then spray it like you spray with a spray maybe house against uh, flies. The spray on, <coughs> on the top of the membrane. On the top of, uh, of this uh, carbon support. So now you can see a model how the, this uh, cell works. Usually, since uh, <coughs> The, the potential of um, the voltage of a fuel cell is about 0 0.9 volts. If we had to reach a very high value, you must uh, put one cell on top of the other. And this is called stack. Okay? So here you can see a unit cell. See, this is the gas diffusion layer. <coughs> oh, no, sorry, this is the contact external contact, which is uh, just a porous uh, material. Here you have the gas diffusion layer, so the hydrogen can go through here. And uh, this is the anode, that means uh, a combination of uh, carbon and platinum particles. This is the membrane and this is the cathode, okay? So this is the membrane, I, I repeat, here we have a combination of, a 